Hello, cooking buddies. In other lessons, you learned words to describe food preparation and famous food dishes. Today, at Key and Guru English class, we are going to learn ways of cooking with oil, with water, and just with heat alone. We will compare stir fry and deep fry. We will compare roast, bake, and grill. And I will show you the differences between simmer, steam, and stew. Time to start. Follow me to the kitchen. Stir fry and deep fry. Cooking with oil. The question is just how much oil to use. To stir fry food is to cook the food by stirring it in a very small amount of hot oil. It doesn't cover the food. Stir fry is a verb. Each word contains one syllable. Stir fry. Stir fry. Repeat after me. Stir fry. Here is a sentence. Tao cooked beef stir fry to serve to her dinner guests. Tao cooked beef stir fry to serve to her dinner guests. I haven't forgotten about deep fry. When you fry the food by covering it completely in oil, you deep fry the food, like these French fries. Deep fry is a verb that means to fry food in a deep pan in which the food is completely covered in oil. Listen closely. Deep fry. Deep fry. Together with me. Deep fry. The main difference between stir fry and deep fry is how much oil is used in the cooking process. Simmer and stew are very similar cooking methods. In both methods, the liquid, the oil, water or milk, is heated to a temperature slightly below boiling. The difference is the time the food is left to cook. I can simmer oats for just a few minutes and they are cooked. I must stew meat and vegetables for an hour before they will be delicious. Both words are verbs. Simmer contains two syllables with stress on the first syllable. Listen closely. Simmer. Simmer. Repeat after me. Simmer. Stew contains one syllable. Stew. Stew. Your turn. Stew. Here are two sentences containing the words. Japanese cooks regularly simmer food in a mixture of soy sauce and sake. Japanese cooks regularly simmer food in a mixture of soy sauce and sake. And last of all, my sister likes to stew apples to make apple pie. Repeat after me, everyone. My sister likes to stew apples to make apple pie. Steam. To steam food is to cook the food by placing it over boiling water. The heat in the steam cooks the food. Foods like fish, chicken and vegetables can all be steamed. Steam is a verb containing one syllable. Steam. Steam. Repeat after me. 
15. Now, let's try the word in a sentence. You only need to steam broccoli for three to four minutes. You only need to steam broccoli for three to four minutes. Roast, bake and grill. What do these three cooking methods have in common? They do not use water or other liquid to cook the food. All three methods use direct heat, usually from a flame. Who knows the expression to bake a cake? To bake a cake, biscuits or bread means to cook them in an oven. The heat in the oven cooks the food. Bake is a verb containing one syllable. Bake. Bake. Baking is done at a low temperature in the oven. Who loves roast chicken and roast vegetables? When you roast food, it is also cooked in an oven or over a fire, but at a much higher temperature. Roast is a verb of one syllable. Roast. Roast. Time to grill some meat. To grill is to cook food over fire or hot coals, usually on a metal frame like this. You can also grill the food under a flame using a griller. Grill is a verb of one syllable. Grill. Grill. Here is a sentence using all three new words. Dad asked me to grill the sausages, roast some vegetables and bake a chocolate cake for the family dinner. Say it with me. Dad asked me to grill the sausages, roast the vegetables and bake a chocolate cake for the family dinner. You can now stir fry and deep fry, simmer, stew and steam. You can roast, bake and grill. Can you remember what they all mean? It's practice time. The following sentences describe cooking methods. I think I made some mistakes. Which of the sentences are correct and which are incorrect? Remember the definitions of the words you learned in today's lesson. Sentence number one. When the water was almost boiled, he was able to grill the oats. This sentence is incorrect. Water that is almost boiled is used to simmer food. Sentence number two. John and Nancy like to roast a chicken in their new oven. This sentence is correct. An oven can be used to roast many types of food. Sentence number three. We will need to bake the birthday cake in the frying pan. This sentence is incorrect. When you bake food, you cook the food in an oven, not in a frying pan. Sentence number four. Mum used only a small amount of oil to stir fry the onions and mushrooms. This sentence is correct. Cooking by the stir fry method requires only a small amount of oil. Sentence number five. Placing fish over a pot of boiling water is the best way to deep fry fish. This sentence is incorrect. Placing food over boiling water is a way to steam the food. 
we've had a long lesson in the kitchen. You can all now discuss many ways to cook food with your friends and family. What food is cooked by fire and what food needs a boiling liquid like oil or water. We have learned how to stir fry and deep fry, simmer and stew, steam, roast, bake and grill, and what makes them all so different. Thanks for your company today. I'm going home to steam some vegetables for my dinner. Stay safe and see you all at the next Key and Guru English class. Goodbye everyone.